What's up, yo? Today is cut day, man. That's all that matters is shreds day. Today we're gonna talk about um, what a calorie deficit actually is, how to get into one, how to calculate one, and then how to maintain one, which is actually what freaking matters. And there's gonna be some hard truths in here, some things, you know, the snowflakes might not wanna hear. I'm gonna give you the truth on how you can create a calorie deficit, what it is, and how to get jacked. Stay tuned for the video. Regular day, like always, man. I'm, I'm feeling a little off. Not really sure why. Training's been pretty hard, so my body's pretty beat up. I've been getting after it. Plus, you know, the slight calorie deficit that we're in never makes that feel better. It only makes that feel worse. My mama tastes olive oil professionally, so she's sometimes has to do it on like day trips or weekend trips so she'll head out of town for a little bit today i think it's just a day trip but i gotta go take care of the puppy i'm gonna go let him out i'm gonna grab a black coffee and then probably on the drive back to the gym we'll dig into the calorie deficits what's up catchy boy Although this channel's had some vlogs with traveling and sharing my life, opening up to you guys being as honest as I can, I haven't always done like daily vlogs or talked about me a ton. Just because it started so fitness based and coaching based, I never knew what to show or what not to show. And then as soon as I got like my life settled in my own house and we started doing it, then I opened the gym. And then like that process just took so long that I couldn't focus on vlogging. I had to focus on running a business and then the apparel. And then scaling that and I'm still stuck in that but now you know like this I, I get an hour that I can go help my mom um, where before I didn't and show you all kind of what I'm into and what I'm really into is dogs music clothes you look at my like for you page on anything TikTok, YouTube mostly Instagram there's dogs there's music it's clothing sneakers basketball art and I love Cassius so I'm gonna go kick it with Cassius and we'll get in the car all right you're no bullshit Nutrition 101. We got a couple things we got to look at. Say like three, four categories. One, hydration. Water. How much water we're taking in a day. Let's keep it simple. Half your body weight in ounces. Bang that out every day. You'll probably be hydrated enough. Next, we got food. Nutrition. Right? Food is kind of made up of three things that we need to dig into. Food provides calories, which is energy. Calories are simply a, a measurement of energy. Right? Protein, carbs, and fat that all interact with our bodies and do different things for us, provide different things. Protein, kind of the building blocks, right? We're building muscle, we're building hair, nails, etc. Carbohydrates, probably the easiest and more, most used source of energy within our system. Breaks down into, you know, glycogen in our muscles. So when we're lifting weights, we're using carbs. And then fat, which also has more calories. Doesn't mean it's bad, but it does have more calories per gram, nine calories. Something like fat provides hormones, lubricates our muscles and provides other functions within the body you need fat to to live for one two you need it to um, absorb certain micronutrients which brings us to the next one micronutrients are also provided by food it's kind of vitamins and minerals right things we need to live that also help within processes within our body hormones etc etc calories being the number one key to losing weight they are all that freaking matter obviously to live and to feel good and be healthy Losing or gaining weight is not all that matters, right? So that's where vegetables, fruits, etc., come into play. So how do we find a calorie deficit? Now there's some basic stuff we've been taught for years and it does work and it is true, but you can just probably Google calorie calculator. How many calories do I need? Macro calculator on Google. There's a million sources and you put in your height, weight, age. It might ask you if you want to lose weight, maintain weight or gain weight. And it'll probably dump out a number. That number is probably at least in the ballpark, right? Because all we can do with all this is be in the ballpark. It'll it'll be a source and it can be a tool, but it's not going to be perfectly accurate to how many calories you need to lose weight. So every day is going to be slightly different. All we can do is is tighten the bumpers and the borders as tight as we can and then stay within those. Some people are talking like, Mike, your calories are so low. They're not. Everyone that's on Instagram lying to you, they're either on PEDs or they're literally just straight up lying like, Man, I got shredded on 4,000 calories a day. Those probably walk 50,000 steps a day or they're straight up lying. I get my one good lifting session, one good cardio session in a day, it takes about two hours. The rest of the time I'm working, man. But the truth is, if you actually wanna make a difference and lose weight, you have to be in a pretty significant calorie deficit. And rather than being in a baby 200 calorie deficit a day, I'd rather just cut and get it over with. And I suggest that for many people, actually. As long as you're keeping your macronutrients or micronutrients in, you have no health problems to begin with, it's not a bad route to go. So what I suggest is anywhere from 500 to maybe 800 calorie deficit. Again, a bunch of people talking crazy that I'm 1,700 calories a day that I'm gonna die. Trust me, I'm fine. I always tell people to track and weigh 
every single thing, put it in their, their, their tracker, whether you want to handwrite it or you want to use an app, before you put it in your mouth. Before you put it in your mouth. Then track, weigh it, and eat it. Every handful of chips you grab, every cookie you grab, every extra squirt of mayonnaise you put on your nasty ass sandwich, all that adds up. I'm almost at the gym, I'm gonna warm up, get some legs in, and we'll explain a couple more things about calories as we're training. We went over kind of like what calories are and what like a diet is. The biggest issue with the industry is that everyone's trying to make money. And trust me, I love making money, and I also want to make money, but I just gonna allow my morals to be above my money and not lie to you. So anything that has like a name to it, you can scratch out that someone's making money. No diet has a name to it. So I'll just explain how we lose weight. The bigger thing now is how we feel that into your life, and what I call those are more like nutritional strategies, right? You've heard them all. Keto, intermittent fasting, fasting, vegan, Mediterranean, all these, I get flexible dieting. The list goes on forever. What I consider those are nutritional strategies. So what we can do is take from those, learn from those, and implement them in our lives that may allow us to stick to our calorie deficit more accurately to allow us to have progress and then maintain the body weight or the lifestyle we want, right? So for example, for me, like flexible dieting simply means that you basically track your macronutrients and your calories, right? from that calculator we talked about earlier. And then all you can do is have things like ketchup or potatoes over rice or beef over chicken, as long as it fits in those macronutrients. And maybe here and there sneaking a Pop-Tart or a Rice Krispie around your workout to again, be more balanced and flexible long-term. Rather than just eating tilapia and broccoli for seven days, then freaking out and eating eight large pizzas and three milkshakes and two babies, right? That's gonna it up. So these strategies that I implement are like a flexible dieting. I weigh and track everything. I also do like a form of intermittent fasting where I just don't really eat in the morning and that's for my lifestyle. That has no secret sauce in burning fat, no secret sauce in performance. The secret sauce for me is that I function better on a cup of coffee in the morning and I get all my admin or like BS work out of the way. That's when I feel best. If I woke up and had a huge bowl of oatmeal, one, I get hungrier personally. And then two, I just feel slower. What are those strategies that may or may not work for you? Maybe it's meal prepping seven days in a row. Maybe it's not meal prepping and cooking a hot meal every meal. Like whatever that is fits your lifestyle and allows you to stick to those macros, that's what we gotta worry about. It literally just comes down to you locking in. Uh, it's gonna suck, but you're only lying to yourself. Every little hand of cereal, brownie, bite of a donut, extra slice of chicken, all that does matter when we lay up into it. And the calories may be lower than you expect, but the truth is to lose weight, we gotta change up the system that we've been doing. You keep having the same habits, you keep doing the same things, you're gonna get the same results. You're gonna stay the same way to gain more. So lock it in, um, episode three, I guess. I'm gonna finish this up, I got some Bulgarians, maybe some RDLs, and then, uh, and then cardio time. So, appreciate y'all, man. We over me, be a part of something big in yourself. 3SB.co. Sound Mike, we're out of here.